Hey guys, it's Alex from Tutorialso, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the following firmwares for your iDevice and download this icon right in front of me, Cydia. Straight to your iDevice by using the computer for about 10 minutes to enable the jailbreak and successfully install this great custom firmware, which is jailbroken and disables all the Apple restri restrictions on the device. By removing those, you can download this application, Cydia, where you can download all these different themes to customize the look and interface of your springboard and lock screen and many, many more uh, stuff on your iDevice. Basically, every setting you can customize to your own liking and interface which you want. Two examples on the following tabs uh, relate to some uh, computer firmwares and uh, operating systems. Say if you're a Mac type of guy, you have everything Mac, uh, you have a MacBook, iMac, uh, <laughs> basically everything that Apple provides and you want to change the boring look of your iOS uh, firmware to uh, a Mac style type springboard. So by enabling the jailbreak download Cydia, download the theme which I actually have on my iPod Touch right now which looks like the Mac type of icon. It has the Mac background, the Mac icons, uh, <laughs> Mac everything relates to the icons, sounds also included in this theme. I actually had this on my iPod Touch so I really like it. As you can see it has the Mac OS X dock with the five icons there instead of the four regular ones which you would have on a regular iPod Touch or iPhone. It also has the a high quality Mac uh, background. I think it's called Galaxy. If you guys know, please post in the description below. I also want that uh, background on my computer because I have a Windows computer, but I really like that look. So, you would apply these themes in Winterboard, a uh, free application we should get off Cydia. Mostly everything on Cydia is free. You don't want to get any paid themes because there's a lot out there that are actually better than the paid themes that users upload freely. So you want to get those because you want everything free of charge. You don't really want to pay for anything. That's the point of jailbreaking also. So, uh, say if you're a Windows type of guy, the opposite of Mac, and you want everything Windows, change the look of your iDevice that Apple provides for you, and change it to a Windows look to have everything like uh, Windows Vista, which I also had a while back, but I like this one way better. It looks cleaner. But this is a Windows Vista type theme. You can see it has the Windows Vista type internet computer icon that basically displays that you're connected to the internet just like it would on that Windows Vista computer, like down here. Same look, right? Same icon also has the icons of Windows Vista so basically the themes affiliated with uh, what it's supposed to be change the icons look and sounds even because uh, on this Mac sound it would have like the booting thing when you slide to unlock also you could get some also mobile platforms such as the Android lock screen which we made in another video Aggie actually did so I'll provide a link to that video on how to get the Android lock screen off a of city on a jailbroken on device which I'll show you today on these following firmwares so if you listen to me uh, uh, follow my instructions. This whole video, this whole tutorial will be relatively easy for anyone that's new to computers or is even an expert. <laughs> so just follow my instructions and uh, let's get started with this tutorial guys. You need uh, uh, three links which are mandatory to uh, complete the jailbreak process. Well actually two of them if you don't already have WinRAR already which most uh, Windows PCs have. But um, the first website is uh, felixbronze.de slash iPod slash firmware and this is a pretty basic website easy to navigate through only one page and uh, it has two drop down buttons but you wanna, you're going to want to skip the first one iPod and go down to iPhone slash iPod touch slash iPad slash Apple TV then uh, it gives you a huge drop down menu uh, basically indicating the history through iOS firmware 1.0 all the way to the current which is 5.0.1 so obviously today like I said on my iPod touch fourth generation I'm going to be testing 4.1 firmware so I'm going to want to go to iPod touch fourth generation latest on the drop down menu search for 4.1 there we go 8B118 iPod Touch 4G. Match this with your current uh, generation and firmware. Make sure that it's one of the ones that I stated at the beginning of this video. Make sure it matches up so this uh, tutorial is right for you. So this uh, tutorial is specifically for 4.1 firmware excluding the um, iPad which works for 3.2.2 with the Red Snow that I'm going to be uh, using today later. But anyways, I'm using the iPod Touch 4G 4.1 firmware. Same goes for iPhone and the other generations that I stated at the beginning of this video. But Mash that up with your generation. You're not going to want to open with iTunes. You're going to want to save the file. Uh, save it to your desktop uh, just to uh, prevent confusion from where you saved the file. Otherwise, you can double click on this if you have wi uh, Windows Vista and I'll search for the folder. Virus database has been updated. Sorry about that, guys. Or uh, Windows Vista, when you click save file, it'll disappear in your downloads tab under your account. Okay, so once you download the firmware, you're going to want to go to WinRAR. The website you can skip this if you already have WinRAR. Just uh, 
fast forward this video to when I go on to the next link but for anyone that doesn't you're gonna wanna go to raw lab you're gonna wanna click downloads and then you're gonna browse all the products that are there these are betas these are the ones in the different languages and these are the official releases releases sorry and uh, here are other ones in 32 and 64 bit for Mac and Windows but obviously you're gonna wanna mash it up save you have Windows Windows English if you speak English and uh, you just wanna download the release and don't get the beta because it's pretty pointless just get the one that's already finalized then uh, uh, after you have WinRAR, which is going to be the program where you open up this download Red Snow website, and this is 0.9.8 beta 4 Red Snow. You're going to want to make sure you download this beta 4 for the 4.1 firmware because that's the one that's functional, fully functional with this Red Snow version. You're going to want to click Windows users or Mac users, depending if you use a Windows computer or a Mac. You're smart enough to realize which one you're going to click on. So, so you, uh, I'm obviously using Windows. Click here to download your attachment, second area, security warning. And um, once again, this is virus free right from the Red Snow website, which a lot of people use for their jailbreaking uh, devices each day. So you're going to want to save the file. Once again, for Windows Vista, it'll just appear in your download folder under your account. For other ones like Windows XP, you could actually choose where to save it because Windows XP is obviously better. I hate Windows Vista. So once you got that, you can minimize it if you want, or you could just exit out of it. Say if you uh, accidentally don't download it or anything you just go right back up to it alright so once those are all done they're downloading currently right now we'll continue this video okay guys so once all those uh, links are um, downloaded from those websites which I showed you earlier in the previous clip you're gonna want to make sure they're on your desktop so you don't prevent losing them from anywhere else that they may be stored on your hard drive or you could just easily search it but just get the things done quicker you know Alright, so here we have the 4.1 Restore firmware to uh, replace the regular iOS version of your iPod Touch, which I'm using today, the fourth generation with this cracked jailbroken one using Red Snow and the actual Red Snow program. So it's going to come up in a WinRAR file after you download WinRAR, or if you already have it, it'll appear in this program. Alright, open the folder. I would extract it to a new folder. To prevent you from having to open WinRAR all the time and just have it a folder stored on your computer so you would just copy over this ignore the two dots over there it's just a repeat and just drag it into a new folder which you can create some other time but right now you could just easily open the Red Snow EXE virus free once again download straight from the Red Snow website you're gonna want to browse for your firmware the one that you just downloaded previously on the Felix Bronze website browse <coughs> and it's on the desktop go to desktop double click on it processing firmware just let that process may take a minute or two so we will just be back once that firmware is processed in red snow all right guys so actually that only took like 10 seconds to successfully identify you're gonna want to click next it's preparing the jailbreak data patching the kernel and everything um, from the cracked iOS firmware which we download off the website to replace the one that is currently on your iDevice And make sure your iPod is plugged in to your computer at this point. And you're going to want to click on install Cydia. And, uh, well, that's the main thing for the jailbreak on your iPod. Cydia is where you can customize your themes and download really cool themes for your lock screen and springboard, including install it where you can get any app for free. Um, enable battery percentage. Uh, yeah, the thing at the top that's on I all iPhones. Uh, this is to boot a tether jailbreak, but we're not going to do that. Custom bundle, just, yeah, other stuff. So click on, check on Cydia and enable battery percentage if you want, that's optional. Click next. Now we're going to want to boot the device into DFU mode. So what we're going to want to do, when your iPod's already plugged in, you're going to want to hold the power button and you're going to want to slide it off. Make sure it's connected at this point. So once it's turned off, you're going to want to make sure your device is off and both plugged in at the same time at this point. Now, once you click next, we're going to start the process right away. It won't wait for you. So, you're going to want to hold the power button for 2 seconds. Hold the power button and the home button for 10 seconds. This is powering into DFU mode, by the way. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, release the power button and keep on holding the home button until your computer recognizes that it's in recovery mode slash DFU mode. So, jailbreaking, waiting for iPod Touch 4G, exploiting with Lime Rain. Now the jailbreak data is on your iPod and now it's waiting for you to reboot. At this time your iPod Touch should have a white screen 
and now it's downloading the jailbreak data and you should see like a hard drive with an arrow on top of it on your iPod touch sorry I can't report uh, I mean record the iPod touch while this is doing it but my flip video camera once again isn't working really sorry about that guys so you see all this process is going on your screen and now the processes that were on the screen it's done with Redstone on the computer and now all the jailbreak data with exploiting it onto your device should be on the device itself so now you should see like a lot of codes going onto your iDevice right from the screen so check that out right now Redstone on your computer the process is done you could uh, unplug your iDevice right now if you want and uh, the rest of the jailbreak takes place on the device itself so once, once after that you should uh, just finish the jailbreak which is on your device and it should have this pineapple logo uh, installing the bundles and everything onto your device to uh, install Cydia if you just need Redstone for the initiation of the whole process of the jailbreak so once you restart your springboard, you should have the full app Cydia. Jailbroken on 4.1 firmware. Today I'm testing the iPod Touch 4th generation. Thanks guys. Please comment, like, subscribe. Please leave any feedback or any problems which you could send me through a private message and I'll respond within 48 hours. Thank you.